today we are going to build something fun um, so basically we have some LEDs that we're going to just turn on and in order to drive these LEDs we require something called an LED driver in this case uh, I'm using a capacitive dropper so the circuit of capacitive dropper is here I'm going to leave the links below where Big Clive mentions how this actually works and uh, this is actually a reproduction of one of his projects. So I'm just do following through whatever he says and uh, you can also do the same. Um, so a capacitive dropper contains a capacitor over here and for every positive uh, sine wave a little bit of current flows through the full bridge rectifier a full bridge rectifier converts ac to dc so every half wave uh, this particular capacitor drives um, this particular capacitor so it tops off this capacitor um, and this process happens over and over again and this capacitor acts like a battery and uh, that drives these LEDs so this means that if we have a power source of 110 volts as in US uh, that means that you can only drive uh, LEDs that can um, be connected in series and if the power voltage of each LED is around 3 volts to 5 volts you are limited to like 20 to 30 LEDs that you can drive depending on what kind of LEDs you have. It's also very important to have a 470 ohm resistor in series. So this actually helps if this particular capacitor is taken out of circuit or something happens to this, it doesn't burn your LEDs. So usually you have a very high wattage 470 ohm resistor in series uh, so that uh, it doesn't burn your LEDs if this guy is broken and uh, this particular uh, 470 kilo ohm uh, resistor is in parallel to this particular capacitor um, but anyway so this whole thing actually drives these LEDs and I'm going to show how I am building this from a cheap $1 LED light that you can buy from a dollar store or Walmart or any local store nearby and this whole portion here is the LED driver or the capacitive dropper so this is a very cheap um, lighting uh, solution that you can buy from a local store um, your local hardware store may carry it and this doesn't cost that much this is a 20 led strip costs like a dollar so all this contains are these filaments once you connect this directly to 110 volts it lights up and it's just one color one color is no fun so we're going to use leds so the first thing we'll do is we're going to snip this particular um, line we're going to remove the connector and uh, one piece of warning you're working with AC so we be very 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 I can't add as many varies anymore careful because this is live circuit so you don't want to work while something's connected so it's dangerous take all precautions okay so disconnect everything snip this wire and that is your first step and then what we're going to do is we're going to remove this particular light replace it with a special kind of LED. I'm going to show you what kind of LED that is. These LEDs have a forward voltage of around 3 volts. So once you connect 3 volt supply, it keeps changing color from red to green to blue to red to green to blue. That keeps on happening over and over again. And uh, all you have to do is connect the positive and negative. You be careful which direction you have because LEDs are directional unlike fluorescent bulbs um, and eventually we're going to connect them in series so the positive of uh, the following LED is connected to the negative of the previous LED and this creates a series circuit so basically in this case I'm replacing 20 lights with 20 LEDs in series and then the two connections uh, for the positive and negative goes to the positive and negative of uh, capacitive dropper that we have uh, discussed before and uh, the AC input uh, is connected to the plug. So all this does is it converts the AC to something like around 110 volts that can actually drive uh, these LEDs and uh, basically these LEDs glow uh, every time you connect it. Mm -hmm. 